All right, guys, Tim McCamus here at the shop again this evening. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about anti-roll bars. Some of you guys call these sway bars, but uh, anti-roll is the correct term for them. I've got uh, three different models laid out here with some options. I want to talk to you a little bit about all of them in general, best use, best application, the history of them throughout the, the time of our company and what we've used them for. When we first started in business 27 years ago, anti-rolls really weren't considered necessary on uh, drag race chassis. They weren't that popular. I ran my car for multiple years without an anti-roll on it. But over time, as the power increased, the tracks got better and performances improved, it became necessary to add them to the chassis to help enhance the performance. So we started out with this model here, which was very good at the time. This is all built in shop and it, it has a one inch diameter 4340 shaft in it. Um, that's, um, it's not a solid shaft, it's got a hole in it, which gives it some torsional strength. But um, this has got laser cut tabs and welded on mounting brackets. It's got bearings in here. Uh, there's bearing in the middle and one on each end. It's got a like a needle type bearing in it, so it's real smooth, works really well. We have these in uh, pre-built anti-rolls complete or a kit which is unwelded has all the components where you can build it yourself cut it to your wrist so you can vary it for what you've got so we've got a several different wrists available that are done plus the kits that are variable for whatever application that you've got this kit comes complete with all the hardware necessary it comes with the tabs to weld onto the chassis it comes with the links the rod ends the bolts everything you need to weld it on and connect it to the rear end housing it even has the tabs for the rear end housing to add to the top of your four link bracket. So this uh, normally uh, would mount underneath the, of the rear rails on the chassis and the tabs would weld on to that and then this would, these arms would point forward, this would be back close to the shock mount and then this would work up and down as the rear end goes through its travel. They don't have much movement. The, the biggest amount of movement for these things is when you bring them back and jack the car up and the rear end is, is fully hanging extension of the shocks. But during the run, you're gonna get a little bit of movement as the chassis comes down on the run. You're gonna have probably an inch, inch and a half of total movement all the way from start to finish. So they don't move much, but they do a nice job of taking that roll out of the chassis, which is developed when the, the torque of the engine is trying to twist the chassis around the drive shaft and uh, tires are stuck to the track. So then it's trying to twist the car the opposite way, which, which will roll the car over to the right side. And this anti-roll bar helps take some of that out of there and really makes a big difference in the performance of the back of the car. So this is a real nice kit, still very viable, but it has its limitations. So we're gonna limit this to somewhere around uh, 12, 1300 horsepower, you know, nice 632 power glide car, something like that. This is perfect for that. Start getting into bigger power, you're gonna have to increase the size of the anti-roll bar, which will kind of swoop us on down here to the next model that we used over the years, which is made by Mark Williams, who makes the axles and all the components. I mean, their stuff is just top notch. This kit here comes with what you see on the table. So it's gonna be a three inch 083 wall tube. This is 4130 and this tube is the same tubing that's used for the drive shafts in the car. So if you've got a three inch chrome alley drive shaft, this is the same tube that's used for that. They machine these ends that's gonna go in the tube and they're gonna weld in. So this is made out of the same material as their axles and it's got a really nice spline on it. These are gonna fit, they're gonna press fit into this tube. So that's gonna be squared up and then this is gonna press fit in there and that's gonna weld around this circumference here. Nice thing about this kit, it's variable. It comes with this length of tube. We have longer lengths available. So you have a really wide spacing in the back, you're gonna to need to get extra tubing for that. But its chassis mount has these aluminum spherical bearings. So these are, these are got a spherical center ball, like a Delron race around the outside. So they're real tight and nice. And they got a little spline here that locks on the spline on the shaft. So this is what it's gonna look like on the chassis. This tube is gonna go on there and then this arm is gonna go on here like this. So that's how that's gonna to go together. The only thing you gotta watch on this when you're putting it together is you gotta clock these arms. So when you're tacking these end bells in here, you have to make sure that you got the arms on there so that you align them properly from side to side. One thing that you do need to watch when you got this on the table, when you got this on here like this and you got this in here, this is laying on the table you want to get a little piece of poster board or something to keep you keep this off the table because what's going to happen you're going to tack this it's going to ground through this aluminum arm and then what's going to happen is, is this nice finish on here is going to be all fucked up and you're going to be pissed because 
now you got two big burnt spots here. So you're going to be on a metal table. When you do that, put that piece of thin poster board or something down there to protect that or tape this up. You can take some masking tape and tape this end up, but then clamp your ground onto this spline shaft here. Not Don't let it arc through that arm. So that's just a little tip when you're putting that together because uh, this has got a nice anodized finish to it. These are aluminum arms on the end. You know, anodizing is a process. When we take these out of the box, we tape them up completely. Every side we're going to cover with tape because they're going to get handled and through the process, this anodizing will start to wear off a little bit. So you see when it comes time to put the car together and you've had this thing assembled 40 or 50 times, this anodizing can look kind of worn. It doesn't really matter to us too much because we always take and re-anodize these to the color that we want on the car. So we'll do a custom colored anodizing on this. But a lot of you guys, when you use them, are going to leave them this color. If you arc them and wear off some of this during the building process, they're going to look used when you put the car together. So same way with this stuff tape this up so you don't wear this anodizing off and it'll look a lot nicer when you put the car together. It does come with the 4130 tabs to weld to the chassis in the back. We cut these tabs down so that this tube fits tight to the rear rails on the chassis. So right now if you put it up on there you're going to have a little gap. So we'll cut this down and fit this so it fits nice and tight up against that tube. So this kit comes just like this. It does not come with the links to the rear end. So we have that as a separate kit which is this item right here. This comes with the rod ends, jam nuts, bolts, and everything you need, and even comes with the little flathead bolts that are a uh, specialty for this, which the reason it's like that, if this is close to the chassis, you'll want to countersink this inside of the arm on each side so that that bolt flushes out in there so it travels nice and smooth by the tub back there. This kit is an add-on item, and it's easy to buy when you buy this because it's just a drop-down box beside it. So as the power increased over this over the years we had to go to something bigger which is this option right here so uh, we still use this today still very popular we sell a ton of these they are they work excellent they're very smooth they don't ever bind up they have a little bit of misalignment here in that spherical bearing so it gets smooth throughout the travel of the run it's very lightweight you got these aluminum arms and this tube so it's not real heavy setup and it works perfectly fast forward to some of the newer stuff today power goes up things get bigger and heavier and beefier so this is an extreme duty anti-roll bar kit we use these also today this kit is complete like the first kit that i showed you it comes with everything the arms the bar the the receiver tubes the spherical bearings rod ends everything you need to put this together but instead of the links being pre-made you get a longer piece of tube so you will have to weld the tube adapters into the end of them but it comes with the tabs for the housing it comes with these laser cut tabs. This is the receiver tube for the bearing. So this is a 4130 sleeve that this bearing is going to go into. And then there's a snap ring, a circlip ring that goes in here and snaps into that groove. This bearing is also spherical. Even though it's thin, it's got a slight dome to it so that it can allow for a little bit of misalignment from side to side. So as the car twists through the run, this isn't binding up. You don't want this anti-roll bar to bind up and, and it needs to be smooth through the travel on the run so it doesn't affect the rear shocks. So these are going to go on like this. They're going to weld onto each side. This can go on the top of the rear frame rail or underneath whatever the setup your car works the best. We like to put them on the top side, kind of put them in a corner of another tube back there, and it makes them really strong and tight in there. Once you put it together, you just slide the bar in. You can put the bearings on there. They've got a small splined area here that's going to lock onto this spline. And these have um, steel arms. So a little bit of debate on which is better, which is best, which is the right application. Steel's very strong, no deflection. We don't have any problem with these aluminum arms. These are a little longer. These are five inch arms here, five inch center to center. This is six, okay? So this is six inch from here to here. So these are a little longer, a little bit heavier. This tube is an actual torsional tube. So this tube is machined and then it's hardened to, to have the highest torsional strength that it can have. With that, you get a little bit of weight. This is the lightest option here. This is going to be heavier, but it is extremely durable and it has just almost zero torsional twist to it. So it's very good setup. Everything fits together good. There's a little groove in the end of this splined area here for the, for the bolt. So when you slide this on, there's a through bolt here that pops through these splines and this bolt's going to lock in there, line up with this groove and keep it in place. This one is obviously you can see it's a set length. Okay, so you're going to need to buy this per application. So we keep these in two widths, 16 inch center. So the, these arms are going to be 16 inches center to center. 
and 17 inches center to center. So we got two lengths for these. They're going to be purchased to fit your chassis at that width. So if that is not going to work for you, you're going to have to do something a little more custom built like this Mark Williams kit. But if this 16 or 17 fits your application, this is a nice anti-roll bar for, for your car, especially if you got big power. If you got big power, screw charger, roots blown, turbo, pro charger, whatever you got making big ass power, this is a nice anti-roll bar. This is a nice complete kit. So again, this is a little bit of uh, evolution and history and applications. So these two, whatever power you guys think you can make, I mean, you all think you're making twice as much as you really are, but when you're happy with that number, that's fine. But this is for whatever number you have, this will work for you. A little lower horsepower stuff, a little more economical. This sway bar here, really nice option. Everything here is very nice machined. It's very high quality. There's no cheap parts. I mean, this is a, these are good kits and they're very easy to use. Just like always, if you guys need help, you can call us, we'll walk you through it. You can watch a bunch of our videos online on, on how this stuff goes on the car. We've got a really good build series that goes through the process of putting this stuff on. If you have questions, my guys will be happy to answer them. All these options are available on our website and we have everything in stock. Give us a call and we'll help you out. Thanks for watching.